Alrighty, part two of success criteria A, still looking at simplifying expressions, but we're going to focus on the division of indices now. Um, what we might be posed with is 7 to the power 5 divided by 7 squared. Okay, something like that there. How we can rewrite that is, if we can write that as 7 multiplied by 7 5 times, okay, to represent 7 to the power 5, we can then divide that by 7 squared, which is just 7 multiplied by itself 2 times. To go ahead and simplify this, we know already that anything divided by itself gives us 1. So if I'm 7 divided by 7, they're replaced with 1. So I've got another pair here I can simplify. Okay, on the bottom I've essentially got something over 1. And on the top here I've got 7 multiplied by itself 3 times left over. Okay, from that last example we're now going to look at index law number 2 which looks at our division. Okay, back over to that previous example we said 7 to the power 5 divided by 7 squared left us with 7 cubed. If we can see a bit of a relationship between these two here, we should be able to figure out that a to the m divided by a to the n, same base, all we need to do is now go and subtract those indexes. Alright, a few examples now, just looking at applying this index law number 2 here. We've got e to the power 11 divided by e to the power 5. We've got the same base, that's going to remain the same. And 11 take 5 will get us 6, so we've got e to the power 6. Uh, second one down here again, we treat our coefficients out the front here the same as we would any other time. So to begin with, 12 divided by 6 would give us 2. Okay, and h to the power 5 divided by h squared, same base. So we're just going to subtract those indexes from each other, get h cubed, so 2h cubed for that one. Third one down here, I've set up this question, essentially the same thing, just a little differently. Okay, uh, so we've got a fractional index here. We're going to get 16d to the power 7 divided by 10d squared. Again, first part I'm going to focus on are these uh, coefficients at the front. So 16 over 10, if we were to go and simplify that, okay, we know we would have 8 over 5. That's taken care of. We've got d to the power 7 divided by d squared. So again, we've got the same base, but we're going to subtract from each other. So if I take the d squared off here, that means I've got to take 2 off the top here be left with d to the power 5. So overall that one there, 8d to the power 5 over 5.